Hey guys, it is Erin, and welcome. How are all your February's going? I know it's the end, but hey, how was it all? First of all, guys, I would like to say thank you to all you guys. I hit over 450 followers on Instagram. That's pretty neato for me. I'm really excited. Twitter is still not going to win so grand, but I don't use Twitter that much. I don't know. haven't gotten into it. So guys, I'm here with my February favorites video because guess what? You guys didn't know already. It's the end of February. If you guys didn't know, check your calendar because it is. So I've actually discovered a lot of new things that are not necessarily beauty items, but they're like relatively in that area, I guess, that I've loved this month. I have my fashion. I have like skincare, I have like makeup stuff, I have a lot of things chilling down there. So I'm excited to show you guys what I liked this month. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the things that are completely non-beauty related, i.e. either clothing or just random. I have one random random item here, which I actually discovered through another YouTuber and I decided I want to try and get it myself. I got it and I absolutely love it. And that is the Q&A uh, &A, a day, 365 questions, five year, 1,825 answers, five year journal. So this is actually really cool. It's this little, little book. And inside of it, there's a question for every single day of the year. And like within each question, there are like five like different sections for like five different days for five different years. So there's like June 21st for 14, 15, 16, 17, and 2018. Yeah. I, I have a few things for clothing. The first thing is this coat that I have worn a lot this month. It is, I got this, this is DKNY jeans uh, brand, but I got this at a thrift store. Um, I'm at a little consignment store. And it's just really, really cute. It's a little itchy, so I need to wear it with like either a long sleeve or just a short sleeve t-shirt. And it has this little like V in the back. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like see-through, like right here. Um, but I don't know. I think it's really cool. It has just fur down the sides, not across the whole top, just the sides of it. And it's really cute and really warm. I've worn this skating a bunch of times. Um, because it's nice and it keeps you warm, but it's like, I don't know, because it's knit, there's enough holes in it that you don't start sweating a bunch. So that is really nice and it looks really, really cute with almost any outfit. And it's also something where you can dress it up and dress it down. It's usually more for me to dress up something like a pair of jeans and just a regular t-shirt and dress it up with that. But sometimes it dresses it down a little bit, but I like that. Also, a couple weeks ago, Kohl's had a, or Kohl's is still having I think actually, um, it's massive end of season sale. And so there were a bunch of shoes on sale and I was very excited for that. Um, so I got two of flats because I'm going to school in North Carolina and I actually don't own a lot of flats. A lot of wedges, a lot of heels, and a lot of boots, but I don't really need those anymore, and I actually need more flats than I usually do. I can't walk around campus in heels all the time, so I wanted to kind of invest in more wedges and flats, and I only really own one pair, and it's kind of wearing down. So I got two pairs of flats when I went, and I absolutely love these shoes. These ones are a little bit smaller around me, but um, they're like, if anyone does dance, they're like jazz shoes, or um, you know, like jazz shoes. The feeling of them, they really are like ballet flats. Um, they mold to your feet and a lot of the studs at the top. They're very, very cute. And they're really, really easy just to spice up a pair of jeans and just a plain sweater. And it spices anything up and they can look a little bit more put together even though they're just really, really comfortable flats with studs in the front. The other pair of flats that I loved, which actually took me out of my comfort zone a little bit because I don't really like pointed shoes. I have problems with them. But I saw these and fell in love. They're from Rockin' Republic, and they were on sale, and I got these for like 11 bucks. The other ones were like 8. Um, but they're these things, and they, they're these flats, and they have like leopards or like cheetahs or something on the front of them. I am not a feline expert. But I thought they were so cool, and they're really, really fun to dress up any outfit as well. Um, the two shoes I got, they're really great for dressing up any outfit, really. Um, but they are really comfortable and they t and I, they do a point to them and I was like nervous about that but I actually love these shoes and I love the little leopard and they have a little like um, drooling on it and it's super cute and I'm really excited and they're like felt so they're comfortable too. Now on to some of my little TMI guys. I sweat a lot and I have yet found a deodorant that lasts all day for me and that 
really does not make me smell of sweat or make me sweat or like really reduce it for more than like 30 minutes um because I do things like theater and I, I dance a lot during that I'm walking around the mall and I'm running around I'm really energetic um, if I go and work out if I go take pictures of the logo on my camera a lot of my gear and it's like a pain for me and um who was it that did this I think it's Megan Rosette who did a video four degree motion sense and she tried it out and I was like you know what I'm gonna give this deodorant a shot holy macaroni this deodorant works <laughs> I put it on and I don't smell at all all day <laughs> even on my really like busy days when I'm running around and I'm getting sweaty and I know I'm still sweating but I don't get like pit stains but like I'm a girl I smell I'm sorry like it's a thing um and I got the sexy intrigue um, invisible solid one uh, only because I can smell better it just smells really really good and it really does stay all day and when I do theater and things like that if I do a musical I usually am the dancer and so I'm dancing a lot or even if I'm not I'm running back and forth on stage trying to redo lines redo scenes over and over again running around school, my backpack, and things like that. Um, and I'm excited for this to try actually in the summer because our school is not air conditioned upstairs and a lot of my classes are going to be upstairs and so I'm going to be sweating a lot. So I'm going to try and see how this turns out then. So I'm excited. But I love this this month. It's been absolutely like, my favorite thing ever. Next, I'm going to go to my face routine sort of thing. You guys saw my video, my two videos ago. You saw two videos ago? Yeah videos ago. Um, you guys would have seen my Effaclar Duo review. Um, this I love so much. Um, I've been using it as a base in the morning for my makeup. Um, and it works even underneath the makeup. It keeps the makeup from getting into my pores and causing problems. And then overnight where I'm clear faced and it will, or like, no makeup on my face. And it starts to actually like aid. So it helps a lot in the end because it's like keeping my pores clean during the day but it's not like fixing anything. And then afterwards it's like fixing to prevent and fixing. And I love this so much. It's been my daily routine. I love this. It's not like a cleanser guys. It's like a treatment sort of thing. Also is my Pink Papaya Refreshing Lemongrass Pore Finding Facial Mask. I usually like have months where I just don't do any facial masks and then I finally get into it again. I do them once a week, twice a week, before I have my shower, I put them on, and then in the shower I go in, I rinse them all off, because I find it a lot easier than, like, outside the shower. So, um, I have this, and it smells really good, and I've had this one for a really long time. So it's been in a couple of my videos already. This is from, actually, got this, like, not this, like, the last Christmas, the Christmas before that I got this. So it's, like, old, but it's not, like, it doesn't expire. Um, so I love this, again comes up on to my little nail favorites because I love doing my nails guys for nail polish I've been loving again Essie you are never gonna see me I'll flip them because it's actually shining too bright you'll never see me without these without like Essie nail polishes on so um my favorites for this month have been mint candy apple and buy me a cameo yeah that's it um they're very spring colors and I have been forcing spring colors into my wardrobe. I love these colors very much. I've been doing this for an accent nail, but it's also great by itself because it's like almost like a nude, but it's not. It's like a, it really is like a rose gold color. And it's great just for a very, very simple, if you're going nice to dinner <coughs> or whatnot. And this would be my pop of color on my nails. It's been great. All right, next guys. I actually really like like press on nails. My CBS usually only had really the basic impress nail ones and they've actually already got some of the cool ones which I'm really excited about because usually my Walgreens has that but they got a new brand which is actually so expensive called uh, Fingerprints and they have like different this is just the, like the wrapper but they have like different like categories like they had like girly glam and they had like um street something or street style they had like runway ready they had like classic so, um, I picked up these ones because I want to try them out, and they're just, I'm just going to show you, but they, actually I'm wearing them right now, so I can just go play my nails, but these are them, 
And they come with this little, I don't know if you guys can see it, they come, you guys can't see it, on this finger though, they come with um, jewels to stick on your nails, like two of them, and they come with a lot of different um, stick on adhesive little strips for that, for, for these jewels specifically. And which is nice though, because it means that even when I don't use these nails specifically, I can put them on my regular nails as well, which I'm excited to do. Um, but this package came with hearts. Some of them come with stars, some of them with crowns, some of them with um, something else. I forget what they were though. Um, but this came with hearts, and I really like them because it's like a mis mix match sort of set of nails. I really like them. So let's see how long they stay on for. Now on to my makeup portion. So the first thing is a Super Stay 24 Correct Err um, Concealer by Maybelline. Um, I've been using this a lot underneath my eyes and actually almost as a foundation. Um, my foundation that I've been using regularly has been uh, flaking on my forehead and has started to not match my skin color, making my face look almost orange compared to the rest of my skin. So I need to find a new foundation. Um, so I've been using this to kind of like help correct the skin color almost. And I'm trying to avoid using that foundation as much. So this is kind of my main my main thing. I use a bit more of it. So I shouldn't be doing because this is a concealer, not like a foundation. But it's probably my best best my best bet for right now. Next is my Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in Rose Gold. I've been loving this for my waterline. Um, and actually, even for not my tight line, but for just the off part of my, my eyelids, um, it gives a nice little like color to my eyelids or to my my waterline and brightens my eyes too. For mascara I've been loving Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes for one mascara. Um I got this with the little kit, like the the with the um the gold one too and the primer and the eyeliner. This is a mini one. And I really like it. It's really well to keep my eyelashes full. So I like this as well a lot. For I took this like lipstick test online and it said I should go with like a raspberry color. So I got this um, raspberry um, lipstick from the um, Babylon Color Sensational lipsticks, which I love. They're like my favorite lipsticks ever. And this one's in Vivid Rose. It's $8.75. But I've been loving this one a lot. Um, it's a great pop of color on any of my outfits, so I love this. And they're right. That's what looks good on me. For eyeshadow, I've been loving my Revlon um, Illuminance Cream Eyeshadow in Precious Metals because it's been, I've been using the gold one a lot because it's, it's really great for a really easy smoky eye. I literally just swipe on the gold and it looks like a smoky eye. Just the gold. Why finger, just swipe it on and it's a smoky eye for school and it's really, really simple and it's not like a big, bold, like black smoky eye. And um, I've been into my eyebrows a lot lately. Uh, if you guys see, I've seen my Instagram, my pictures, a lot of them have my bold eyebrows. You see them normally. I already have like full eyebrows, um, but I've been going over with my brow color Essence of Beauty. I've been using actually both of them. There's a dark and a lighter one. I've been using the darker one and then filling in the rest with like as much as I can and filling in the rest with the lighter one because I like my bold eyebrows. I actually really do like them. I think they're really they're beautiful and so I have I used to hate eyebrows. Now I love them. So I have my eyebrow addiction with that now. Alright guys, that is it for my February favorites video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I am so close to 200 subscribers guys. I am really, really excited. I'm filming this before the end of February, so I may already have 200 subscribers. If I do, then yeah! If not, then hey, I'm really close guys. Please subscribe so I reach my goal of 200 subscribers before the end of February. That'd be really awesome. Also be sure to check out my Instagram and my Twitter. Again, my Instagram, I use more than my Twitter, but I'll be using, if I get more followers on Twitter, Twitter I'll be using that more too but yes I'm on my Instagram I post like three times a day pretty bad um but check those guys out um yeah links are in the description below hand and on like my banner on um, my main page so go check those out yes that's it all right um well I don't know should I say anything else nope all right bye guys love you.